Hello guys, so I'd like us to look at the solution of this question. Now the roots of the quadratic equation 2x squared plus 7x plus 3 is equal to 0 are alpha and beta. Find the equation whose roots are alpha squared and beta squared without solving the equation. Now if we've been given the roots of uh, this equation right here, we can use this root to actually find the original equation. So our roots x is equal to alpha, that's one of the roots, and x is equal to beta. So those are our roots. x is equal to alpha, x is equal to beta. Now, bringing alpha and beta to the other side of the equation, we're going to have x minus alpha, x minus beta is equal to zero. So multiplying this two, then we will get the original equation. So multiplying this and this, we get x squared minus, minus beta x minus alpha x plus alpha beta is equal to zero. Now, since those were the roots of this particular equation, it means this equation that we've gotten here is similar to this one. However, you can see this one has a coefficient here. It has a two. So in order for me to be able to compare these two, I will divide all throughout this equation by two so that it's quite similar to this one. So dividing that equation by two, we will have x squared plus seven over two x, x squared plus seven over two x plus three over two. So clearly here one corresponds to one x squared, x squared to x squared, x to x, and it implies that this minus beta minus alpha corresponds to seven and alpha beta corresponds to three over two. So seven over two is equal to minus alpha minus beta, and then three over two is equal to alpha beta. So these are two linear simultaneous equations. We can solve them by substitution. Making alpha the subject of the formula in equation two, we get alpha is equal to three over two beta. Then replacing this value in equation two, in equation one, we're going to have seven over two is equal to minus beta minus, in place of alpha, we will write three over two beta. Multiply the whole of this by two beta all throughout. This will give us multiplying this by two beta, two and two will cancel, we'll have seven beta is equal to minus two beta squared minus three. Then we want to rearrange that. This is a quadratic equation. Bringing this to the other side, you have minus two beta squared minus seven beta minus three. Then I can uh, factor out the negative so that I have two beta squared plus seven beta plus three. Then solve this using the quadratic formula to get the values of beta. Now solving using the quadratic formula, we have beta is equal to minus seven plus minus seven squared minus four times two times three. All this divided by two times two. So solving that, we will get the values of beta as minus three and minus a half. Now we already had an expression for alpha. Alpha was three over two beta. So having gotten the uh, two values for beta, we can replace them in our value for, in our expression for alpha, so that we have the values for alpha. So replacing minus three and minus a half, we will have this and we will have this. Simplifying, we have this and this as our values of alpha. So we have our beta is minus three and minus a half and alpha is minus a half or minus three. Now, the question wanted us to get the equation whose roots are alpha squared and beta squared. Now, when you're given the roots of, a equation, of an equation, you can be able to get the original equation. So we're being told that the roots are x is equal to alpha squared, x is equal to beta squared. So bringing this to the other side, we have x minus alpha squared is equal to zero, x minus beta squared is equal to zero. Then we can multiply this and this so that we get the original equation. So multiplying this two will give us x squared minus beta squared x, minus alpha squared x plus alpha squared beta squared. This is the original equation. So uh, I factor out minus x here. 
uh, so that I have minus x beta squared plus alpha squared plus alpha squared beta squared. We already know the values for alpha and beta, so we just come and replace them here so that we have the original equation with the constants replaced. So where there is beta, I will replace with, I will replace with minus a half. Where there's alpha, I'll replace with three. So replacing the values of alpha and beta, then this is what we get, which we can evaluate using the calculator to get this, which is x squared minus 9.25x plus 2.25 is equal to zero. Now, um, we can multiply all throughout this equation by four so that we just get rid of the decimals. And this is what we have as our final equation. That's how we go about that question.